Today I'll share with you how I create informational videos about one of my services using a video creation platform called Wibbits. Wibbits is also sponsoring this video, so I want to give a big shout out and a thanks to Wibbits. So what is Wibbits and how exactly do I use it? Wibbits is an online video creation platform that makes it super easy to create videos that are cool to watch, easy to consume, and fun to share. I've been using this platform on and off since 2018, but they've been around since 2011. I use it whenever I need to create social videos for LinkedIn. Over the years, Wibbits has tweaked and improved their platform, and I will come in every now and again and show you how I use it. So here's a walkthrough video that I recently created. Okay, so let's get started. So to start, you wanna select Start from Scratch. Next, you'll need to choose your video format, and for this video, I've chosen Landscape. Next, you need to choose the style of your video. You do have the option of changing this at a later time if you do change your mind, so I wouldn't worry too much about the style that you're choosing at the moment. Next, the editing dashboard opens, and the first thing that you'll need to do is enter your caption or your script for the first scene. A new feature in Wibbits is the ability for you to actually copy and paste your entire script into the first scene, and then Wibbits will ask you if you wanna break this up into multiple scenes. So as soon as your copy has been imported, you will notice on the left, you have all of your scenes broken out by sentence from your script that you've just uploaded. And then on the right, you'll see a visual storyboard with each of the scenes text embedded on that storyboard. So before we get too carried away, let's first title this project. So I wanna come under those three dots at the bottom right corner of the storyboard image. And I wanna select that so that I can change the layout because this is the title card. I want it to look different than the rest of the boards in the storyboard. There are a number of different scene layouts and I'll choose which one I wanna use as my titling. Once I've created the title card, what I usually will look at is for the remaining storyboard, how do I want the text to appear on the screen? If I'm bringing in footage of myself speaking, then I will want it to be a subtitled look. Otherwise, I'll use the captioning option here. Next, it's time to edit each storyboard. So I'm just going to click on this first image so that it can open up the scene editor, and that way I'll be able to deal with each individual scene in the storyboard separately. At this point, I can tweak the text if I choose to, especially for the title card, if I wanted to say, for example, add a subtitle, which I don't want to at this moment, but I might later on. But one of the other things that you can do is you can deal with the styling pertaining to your colors, your font, and the size of your font. You also have the option of highlighting specific words in your title if you choose to. And then obviously you can choose between sentence case and uppercase. Once I finalize the text for my scene, the next thing that you need to do is add media. And your media can either be still images or video footage that you have the option of searching through their library for, which is pretty extensive, or if you prefer, you can upload your own footage or you can use footage that you've applied to other previous projects. When I need to move on to the next scene, all I have to do is hit this arrow button on the right and that will take me to the next scene, at which point I will then repeat this process over and over, just looking for the footage and images that I need to use for each scene of my storyboard until I've completed the process. If you need to upload footage from your computer, all you need to do is click on the tab titled My Media, then click on the blue button with the upload icon and connect to your computer and the folder where your footage resides, and then upload all of those pieces of footage onto your platform to use for your project. 
if you either need to trim your footage or if you want to use a specific portion of your footage, then you do have the option of going into your storyboard by clicking on the upper menu bar and click on the scissor icon so that you can trim your video. If you decide that you want to split a scene, all you need to do is go back to your script where the scenes are broken out and then duplicate that particular scene. And then you'll have the choice of either using the same footage to play continuously across both scenes, or you have the option to have two different pieces of footage or stock images that you can use. It's totally up to you. Next up is music. They have a really good library of music choices, so you can use what they have, or if you prefer, you can upload something from your own personal library. On occasion, you may run into a little bit of an issue depending on the kind of footage that you're using and the font that you're not able to see the captions because of the color of the cop caption or because there is no background on the caption. In this example, the style of video that I'm using does not enable me to have a colored background. So I am going to change the style so that I'll be able to have a background that will allow the text to pop. Now I'm back to the title card and I think I've decided that I want to change the way that title card looks. I don't want it to be sentence case. I want it to be title case, which basically means I want remote video creation to each have capital letters before them. And then I'm going to reposition the text slightly. And I do think that I'm going to add a subtitle here. Once I like how the overall look of the video is, then I'll be able to preview. And once I've previewed it, I will then select done. Once I've selected done, it will take me back to a page called video details, at which point I can assign a category, I can add tags, and I can establish the language for this video. And then I can also add any general credits that I might want to for this video. This information is actually specifically for Wibbit's platform. Once I'm finished, I then just click produce so that I can get my final HD version of this video. Once the video completes the rendering process, I have a number of options. I can either share it with somebody on my team, say for example, if they needed to review it. I can download it. I can add it as a template for any future videos that I might want to create using this template, okay. as well as I can copy it. I'll do a different video that will show you why someone would want to make a copy. And then of course I can delete it. So in this example, I'm simply going to download it to my computer because I am finished. And that's it. Now it's on my computer and I'm ready to share it on social media. If you have any questions about Wibbits, I'd love to answer them for you. So feel free to pop them in the comments below. If you're already using Wibbits, I'd love to hear your feedback and what your thoughts are on using this platform. In future videos, I will show you other things that Wibbits can do and in other ways that I use it. If you would like me to feature a specific method, then by all means, please comment below and let me know and I will share that with you. Until next time, thanks as always for watching my videos and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. I produce videos on a weekly basis that vary from video creation apps, platforms, software, and tools. So take care and I'll see you next time.